END here. One of the most important thing for a good collector is to know if a card he or she is buying is genuine or fake. If one of your cards is a counterfeit or not. There are some cards that have a reasonable price, both in standard, both in modern and also old vintage cards. They are quite costly and, they are, and therefore they are easily target for counterfeits. Counterfeits arrive the majority from China. With the modern technology, we are seeing quite improved cards when it comes to fakes but into my opinion there are techniques that you, you can easily identify if a card is fake or not as i said there are cards that currently cost 40 to 50 dollars in standard in modern and old vintage cards that cost thousand and thousands of dollars i must admit that old vintage cards like alpha and beta they are quite very very difficult to fake and also who buys those cards knows what he or she is doing and what he or she is buying therefore they are not easily targeted but the common person out there it's much easily targeted when it comes to fakes and counterfeits today i'm going to show you as i said my techniques in identifying a card if it's fake or not First of all, when you buy a card from an online retailer, even in person from your friend or from an LGS, check the card if it's fake or not. All these cards are genuine, are genuine because I, some of them I have pulled them myself from booster boxes and I have also tested the cards that I'm going to show you today. The first thing you should do when buying a card is the touch and feel. The touch and feel of your card is very important. If you have handled a lot of cards in your life, if you have handled a lot of Magic the Gathering cards, you will notice that if a card is a fake, from touching it and rubbing your finger on the card, you will notice firsthand if the card is a fake or not. I know you will tell me, but modern cards are different from vintage cards. Yes, this is a Blood Moon from the set of Chronicles. This is one of the cards from Ravnica Legions. The touch and feel are different from each other, but, but you have to compare the card from the time it was released versus the card that was released. So therefore you cannot compare these two cards. You have to compare two cards from the same set. So that's the first thing you have to do when buying a card, the touch and feel. If you're not sure, then I would show you other techniques. Another technique is the smell test. If you smell the card, you will notice that a genuine card will have a different smell from a counterfeit card. The ink and the method they use in fake cards is different from the method and ink they use for modern cards from the real cards. Therefore, by smelling the card, you can easily identify a fake card. Now, we don't trust 100% our senses, so let's see what other techniques I'm going to show you in identifying counterfeits and fake cards. The first technique is the light test. The light test, you don't need no special technology. You need only a flashlight, or if you don't have a flashlight, you can use your mobile. All modern mobiles have the flashlight. You will switch on your flashlight and you'll put it, you put the card on the flashlight.
you can see if the card is transparent if you can read what there is from the other side that card is a genuine card you can see you can see the deck master you can see the mana symbols and the magic the getting this card is a genuine card because the transparency shows that this is a hundred percent genuine card the lightest it is one of the most common and easy tests you can do on your card you don't damage the card there is nothing that can damage this card with the lightest now let's go for other techniques another technique is the band test the band test and for this i'm going to use this common card footlight fend the pen test it tells you that if you bend the card until it touches edge by edge the card will go back to its original place you can see there is no damage to the card if there was damage to the card that means that this card is a fake card I'm going to show you again you need to bend from edge to edge very gently if you handle very expensive cards touch it and release it the card will bend again to its original position and you can see that there is no damage if you see damage in your card that means that the card is fake that is the bend test now there are other tests that I'm going to show you one very important test in modern cards is the hollow foil the hollow foil this is very important that the hollow foil is there and you need to touch the hollow foil the hollow foil must be part of your card if when touching the hollow foil you feel something bumpy that means that probably the hollow foil was printed after the card and that means that the card is a fake you need to touch the hollow foil very gently if you feel a little bumps that means it's a fake if you don't feel nothing that means the card is perfectly genuine also something very important in handling these type of cards is the edges of the cards you have to look carefully to the edges if the edges have some sort of sharp cut that means that the card is fake this card is genuine there is no sharp card it's perfectly cut that means that that card is fake now if you want to be a little bit more professional my advice is to use a jewelry loop jewelry loops comes in different sizes and different types they are not expensive for two dollars on ebay you can buy this jewelry loop 30 times i recommend at least a 30 times jewelry loop higher is the better and for three to four dollars you can buy this this is a 60 to 100 jewelry loop and this use it is used like a microscope what you need to look when you use jewelry loops first and, and the most important the symbol of the set the symbol of the set is one of the most important things you need to look in your cards if the symbol the outline symbol is a solid black that means that the card is a genuine card you have to remember that when printing cards wizard of the coast use a particular technique that they print a color 
each time. Therefore, I think and I believe black is the last color printed. Therefore, the black will be always the top color in every card. Also, another important thing is the text. The text. If the text is part of the color background, that is a fake. If you can see from here, very, very simple. The text is part of it's not part of the card, it's a solid black printed on the white and that means this card is genuine. The card title, the type and the text, they all have the same pattern. Something that you need also to look is the font of the card. Magic the Gathering use a particular font and if you compare a font with a font, that is something, something that will tell you if, if a card is fake or not. I recommend buying one of these jewelry groups and check your cards. As I told you, cost is around $2. $3 if you go, $3 to $4 you go something bigger. And it's very important to check your cards. Something else that you need to look for fake cards is the back of the card. They usually take a lot of time and invest a lot of money in making a perfect front of the card but the back sometimes is not given that much time if the back is lighter or darker if you see something funny in the back take your jewelry room and check the green dot the green dot compare the green dot of the mana simple with one of your cards that you have pulled yourself and you know it's not a fake if you compare that you have an assurance and they match you have an assurance that the cards are genuine last to test when handling this type of cards there is a particular test that I say I call the water test you take a drop of water Take a drop of water, put it on your card. If the drop of water does not damage the card and moves along the card, that is a way that this, you see this behavior, if the drop of water falls, that is not genuine card. If the drop of water just keeps there and moves a little, and unless you just put it straight up that shows me that this card is not fake and is a genuine that small drop of water don't will not damage your card but be aware I wouldn't use this type of test if it's a $10,000 card from Alpha like a Black Lotus even though water, a drop of water put on your cards like this will not damage your card but I would not risk it on a high value card for high value card I will use the light test and the jewelry group the last test and this is the most brutal test of all is the tear test all magic the gathering cards are printed in three different layers front back and the middle blue layer if you tear the card you will notice that here you can see there is a small layer of blue card This blue layer, and this needs to be blue, this blue layer, can you see it? That means that this card was 100% genuine. Obviously, the tear test is the last resort, because if you have a good card and you tear it and you find that it's 100% genuine, I think it will bang your head on your desk.
These are my techniques I used in identifying counterfeit cards. Check your cards, check them well, because you don't want to screw other people and you want, don't want to get host by buying counterfeit cards. Leave me a comment below. Have you ever handled a fake card? And subscribe to my channel for more videos about collectibles and Magic the Gathering.